<laughs> First off, my name is Tony Blylevin, and I work for Snow's Lake Vineyard. I've been here for a good 10 years, and this project here was uh, a stream restoration project that had severe uh, cutting from the water. So we essentially created a new stream. We buried the old stream and um, redirected it and slowed the water flow down in uh, attempts to uh, lessen the erosion. In the uh, meantime, we tried to propagate all the native species that uh, we possibly could that were collected from the ranch. Everything was hand collected and all the sedges and rushes were hand plugged. So we dug them up from another location and this is what you see out of the sedges is uh, the results of a uh, this project that has been three years in the making, four years now in the making, and um, we're pretty pleased how it turned out. Um, the native species of grasses and sedges and rushes turned out very well. We have um, several species. Well, we're out here digging for sedge root in the newly restorated sedge bed and we're trying to thin out the, the plants and here. take out some of the rocks so that the trying runners can grow the nice and straight without uh, without too much trouble. Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing is while we're although we're trying to take some of the plants out and we're trying to take some of the rocks out we're still trying to be careful and and when we dig we dig slow and easy so we don't break the break the runners off and, and we have a decent length of roots for our baskets. Yeah, sometimes they go right on through it and you just keep it going. <laughs> That size to that size, but that's a good starter when you're doing the button of the start. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't want a long. You don't want a long one when you first start. Just like this. These sizes are good. Now, what you'd ideally what you'd like to do is take and remove probably half of these. If we took and removed half of these then the runners have to go farther before they meet with another bulb because they run from one from one bulb to the next like this one's running from here to here mm -hmm. so obviously if this plant wasn't here then that runner has to go that much farther before it hooks up with another bulb but this is good for a starter so and then when you get them you just cut them off at this bulb and you cut this one off at the bulb that it's running to and as long as those bulbs stay in the ground then they'll send out new runners. So you can just keep them here, you cut these runners off and it'll send out new ones. So ideally what we like to do is not only get these rocks out but if we thin the plants out they're going to have to run farther before they connect. Okay. So that's them out? But that's a good size for a start. Okay. That's perfect. So that one right there is going to be your main plant, right? Right. Um, that one's your main plant. You just trim the roots around it when after it's established, right? Right. You trim the you uncover the roots and then you trim them and keep the tap the main root there. The main root will stay with the plant. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And so all and just, all the and all the little feeder roots. See, like all these, okay. these roots here are just just feeders for the plant. Right, right. These these will never take off and actually run to another bulb. These will stay like this. Okay. So just so that I know, and, and, and what we're looking for is the connector from that at the end has the baby plant that it's trying to send out. Yeah. I don't know what the. Well, it, yeah. It's not a so, baby plant. It's actually looking for another bulb to connect. Oh, oh, right. Okay. I don't know what the white people call it. We call it, I call it a runner. Yeah. And if you okay. get a plant like this, yeah. see, this is a big, well-established plant. Uh huh. So when you're gonna thin out. This one's in good shape, it's big, it's healthy, it's going to send out a lot of runners. Mm -hmm. If you're going to thin out or go to transplant, take little ones like this. Okay. And le Hello. leave the big one there. Oh, okay. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Like these, like this. So you take one swing. See, these Little are like these this. are so close. Yeah. This one sent out a hey. runner, and it just only got hey, to go I, that far. I right, right. Okay. So this is doing us. This is doing us no good. <laughs> it may not be. Oh, okay. See? So even if you want to just this cut that off there and. See and the it's heck got it. the roots, and so it, it will grow. It'll grow. It's got the feeder roots, and everything's still attached. You just put that oh, in no. some sand and pour the water no. to it, and, no. and it'll take off. No. And how wet do they like to be in the sand? And so you'd want to clean as it up, right? As wet as possible. It doesn't matter. We don't. We just take it and 